to share, again, a quick verse. We're not going to go deep diving into it because could, I could take an hour on this and it's not meant to take an hour today. But um, for some of you to connect to this with the scriptures and the Melitha, again, really driving this home so that we can get it separated in our mind in order to unify it instead of calling the scriptures the word of God, knowing that there's definitely a difference between the two. Um, some of you guys know this verse and uh, Spirit just brought it into me this morning when I was studying and just kind of getting ready for today, just pick up where we left off last week. Second Corinthians 3.16. I'm going to do a screen share on this because I some of the way they translate has been translated the way that we have translated our works before just boggles my mind sometimes but i get it i get the process again the boot of the oppressor is that which always causes us to rise if we didn't have the friction and the catalyst we wouldn't do anything to move us into a different place of standing than where we are in our current moment it's just kind of funny how that works that way so dr etheridge translated this saying who hath made us fit to be ministers of the new covenant not in the writing but in spirit for the writing killeth but the spirit maketh alive now most of us we've read this we know this we've heard this um, i hear this all the time when i'm trying to share the hebrew language and words you know they'll they'll but it's the writings that killeth you know and so they don't some people just don't want to hear what i have to say because everything is spirit and i do get that but what we aren't seeing in here, because of the way they translated it, the way we translated it years and years and years ago, um, because either we didn't see it or there was the oppression side of it, doesn't matter to me because we get to see it now as it is. First of all, I want to point out to you when it says ministers, it's that word shemesh. Remember the, the sign that, that the ministers, it's the word for son. Shemesh is ministers. And it's also... Um, it's ministers, it's uh, priests, priests, ministers, and servants. So that hand sign of the Shemesh, the priestly blessing, Shemem Shin, that of the sun, ministers of the sun. I love that. Right here in this word, that's what the ministers say. New covenant, you'll find this interesting. The word for covenant right here is diothki, and diothki is a Greek word. They used a Greek word in here intentionally because of the way the Hebrews were in their mindset and the way they lived. Every time the patriarch would die, the, the, the inheritance was always passed on. There was no need to write a will or a testament. It just was. There was no, I'm going to cut you out and you can't have anything. The family got the inheritance. The firstborn got the double portion because the firstborn was the one that was in charge of the family because the patriarch passed away. So they had to use a Greek word here because that didn't apply to the way the Hebrews did things in their lives. Only the Greek mindset needed a will and a testament. So when we look at this and we're seeing that it's for the writing killeth, why did the writer of this in 2 Corinthians use a Greek word? Because it had to do something connected to that which is being killed, that which is being done away with, that which is connected to the flesh, the body. Why am I saying that? Because when you take a look and you drill down a little bit deeper, this word to kill, in one of the root words, it means to cut off. Yes, it can mean to kill and it can mean to slaughter and it can mean all of that, but it also means to cut off. What are we cutting off? There's a letter in the middle that says there's something that you're wrestling with on the inside and Kufla met on the outside. There's something that's calling to you, something that's calling out to you, but you're wrestling with it on the inside. It's cutting off that which is keeping you from being able to do what? The last part of this answers it all for us. Because then it says, they added the word, but the spirit maketh alive. Guess what? This word maketh is not in here. It's not in there at all. So it's not making alive. It's saying for the writings cut off, yet the spirit is alive. We have a will and a testament that is meant for the body only. But when we cut off the body, the spirit is yet alive. Do you guys catch that? This verse is telling us that we are not our body. The will in the testament is only for the body. 
the flesh. So what is this? What is the whole purpose of the writings? This is this why I wanted to see and share with you this verse. So the ministers of the sun, the Shamesh, the servants, the new priesthood, who are ministers of what? So we understand that the will and testament has been given to those who are in the flesh. But this chatta, this word right here, the word new, guess what? The first two letters here are literally the word that means one. One. One sacred chamber. One sacred chamber. Why is that important? Because the sacred chamber is right here. The ministers of the sun understand that the will and the testament is going to the body, to the flesh, but they are of the new. They have unified. They have one sacred chamber within. They teach the way of one that the writings are meant. This is why I wanted to share this with you. The scriptures are meant for you on the inside. See that bet is pierced. It's got a degesh in it. It means it's pierced. The writings are meant to pierce your heart. And here's Ele. Here we have those who are God and those who are not God. Those who are and those who are not that are unified because now they have authority within. So they have the authority of the mother and father, Aleph and Aleph. They have the authority within them through the spirit, the spirit that is within them. Because of the writings, they went on a sojourn. They cut off that which they didn't need because the scriptures are meant to get us out of our flesh so that the spirit is alive. It's interesting that Dean right here, this is a word that means now. It means now. Yet, but now. Mechaya. Why is that important? Because this is the word for salvation. Chaya. Megantropy. And it has the word waters right in it. So what is this, this last word right here? Living water. Living water. I will give you living water, which is that of the spirit. It has nothing to do with the body whatsoever. A will and a testament is only for the flesh. We are cutting off the flesh because we're making the spirit alive.